Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ed, I'm here with Davis Pickleball and Selkirk Sports. Today I'm going to show you how to properly overgrip your brand new paddle. If you haven't used overgrip before, there's a few reasons why I recommend you to do so. One, stock grip on brand new paddles tend to be a little bit slicker and they get really slippery from your sweat after only a few times of playing with it. Um, that forces players to overcompensate their grip by squeezing too tightly. Number two is I like overgrip because they're much tackier, stickier, and it adds a little bit of thickness to your paddles so you don't have to squeeze as tight, which helps your paddle to have a lot more touch. All right, let's get into it. First thing that you want to do is you want to take off this rubber um, elastic part. We'll use this later. We'll set it aside. Okay, so we got our overgrip. We're gonna unravel this here, pull that out, kind of like a fruit roll up. We're going to, I like to just get all that plastic off. I'm keeping in mind of the stickier side. This is the side that you wanna be facing outside. This is the side that's gonna be tackier and the part that you want to have on your paddle. How you start the grip um, is gonna matter a lot. There's usually a, angle on the overgrip. Most people I've seen do it incorrectly. They start this way thinking that, oh, this is the angle that the overgrip is going to go, but you actually want to turn it around. The angle is going to be on top. Okay. So we're going to start with this here. I'm going to start putting it, wrapping my paddle around. It doesn't really matter where you start this area. It, it's all going to come around in a circle anyways. I'm only going to be pulling at about 50% strength. I don't want it too tight and I don't want it too loose either. So just about 50%. And if you could see right here, that angle, you're gonna follow the edge of the top and that angle is gonna naturally uh, unravel so that the overgrip is gonna have that, uh, it's gonna follow down. You see how I did that there? Let me unravel it for you again here. So here I'm following the edge and then it naturally starts coming down because of that cut that the overgrip comes with. Okay, so that's the important part. How you get started with the wrap is gonna dictate the whole quality of your overgrip wrap. So I'm gonna do that here, going only about 50%. And I'm just following that angle. Okay, and don't worry about getting this too perfect. Um, just uh, try to get a consistent pull on it, 50%. There we go, almost there. So as you can see, I'm trying to get even spacing between each wrap so that not one side is too thin and one side's too thick, but I'm just trying to get it all nice and even. So we're gonna go all the way down. So I actually like to use the whole strip. Um, this may seem like too much here, but for me, I kind of like to have to pull it tight and just really use all of it and just wrap it extra around the middle of the throat here. I kind of like the feeling of being able to hold my paddle anywhere and I have an overgrip on it. So I got my tape here. I'm just gonna secure it down so that the overgrip won't unravel. Okay, and once we got that on there, we're gonna take back the rubber piece that uh, most paddles come with. So something like this is how it would look like, okay? You got a brand new overgrip on. All right, so that is how to overgrip your brand new paddle. I like to switch my overgrips and replace them about once every two weeks or so. Um, the way that I know when I need to switch my overgrip is if it starts to get a little bit dirty and it starts to lose that tackiness, that's when I know when to switch. Some players don't need to switch it as much, maybe they don't sweat as much or they just don't play as often, but you're gonna want to keep a fresh new overgrip so that you can have the best touch in the game. Awesome.